So you're building an LS and you want to make big horsepower, not cost a ridiculous fortune to build and be very durable. But you're also quite not sure how to get there with the rotating assembly. You've heard about the Gen 3 rods. You've heard about the Gen 4 rods, but you're not sure what to look for. So let's go take a quick look at the differences. So 2004-2005, GM started to make some running changes to the engines. As they got rid of the older Gen 3 LSs, the Gen 4s started to find their way into more and more vehicles, trucks, cars, whatever. So little, some little subtle differences between the two. The Gen 3 piston, which we're looking at here, uh, I-beams are a little bit different. Obviously, the pistons are always going to be a little bit different depending on the combustion chamber and what cylinder head was on it. Uh, same with the Gen 4 piston uh, and rod. They're a little bit different shape. The configuration's a little bit different. The reliefs on top are, are a little bit different as well. So one thing on the Gen 3 is they're all press-fit pistons. They're pressed-to-fit wrist pins. And it's very easy to spot the Gen 3 because of this. Um, this one got a little hot, I think. Uh, it's kind of stiff, and they're a little cooked, uh, no doubt about it. Um, the Gen 4 piston is easy to, to see because it's got the wrist pin with the little retainer ring in it. And it's always very easy to spot these uh, when they're out of the engine. This is a Gen 4 piston. The Gen 4 piston on the left has a Teflon skirt. The Gen 3 piston on the right does not. So let's talk about the I-beams on both these connecting rods. The Gen 3 doesn't have any distinguishing markings on it. It kind of looks a little different on both sides. On the Gen 4 piston, you see the dimple. Uh, that dimple's on one side of the rod. The other side is blank. Uh, but for the most part, they both look the same on both sides. Now, the big end of the rods. Here's where there's some other differences. The, the Gen 4 piston on the left is a little more boxy, uh, a little more beefy, where the Gen 3 big end is a little more rounded. Uh, the edges are a little bit uh, less sharp. Uh, not as uh, defined as the, the Gen 4 on the left. So just some little subtle differences on the big end of the rod uh, and how they're a little bit different. Another uh, quick comparison here is just the thickness of these two rods. So the Gen 3 is a little thinner, a little smaller, so it handles a little less horsepower. Uh, the Gen 4, obviously, as you can see here, is a little bit more beefy, a little thicker, and it'll handle a little bit more power. Now, obviously, I think the Gen 4 rod is a little heavier than the Gen 3 because of the, the mass that it has in it. But hey, when you're talking about building big power, uh, a little bit more mass in the connecting rod is not a bad thing. So those are just some really basic differences between both those rods. Uh, when they're out side by side, they're very easy to tell which one is which, and then you can kind of make a decision on which one you want to purchase. Uh, the Gen 4 rod obviously is stronger, handles more horsepower, throw some good ARP bolts in it, and hey, you'll have a good solid rotating assembly download to handle your big horsepower needs. So anyway, that's just a quick down and dirty Gen 3, Gen 4 rods. Hope you got something out of it. Like uh, the video if you liked it, and uh, please subscribe, and we'll hit you up next time. Thanks, guys.